What's up guys, Wes back with Auto Mafia Racing and today we're not working on a Mustang. Today we have a 2014 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Now of course this basically has an LS engine or an L99, or, you know, LS3, whatever you want to call it. However, we get to work on a V8 finally, not another V6. Not that I don't still like the V6s, but guys, there's something about having a V8 and that grunt and how they sound. So this car has a Texas Speed camshaft in it. I don't recall at the moment whether it's stage one or stage two. I will check and then report back to you. However, it does have a full exhaust on it. It does not, it does not have long tube headers. It should, but it is cat deleted, so it'll have more power. Now, the last thing it has is an air, uh, a cold air intake by K&N, I believe, but we'll see how much power it makes. We'll compare it. We went on a little test drive. It felt pretty good. However, we've obviously driven a lot of V6s, um, and the Mustangs with turbos and prochargers that are faster than this. So we'll see what we can do. It currently does have an aftermarket tune on it, um, but it was not tuned on a dyno. It was just street tuned. So we'll see what we can do. Fingers crossed we get some more power on it. Hopefully we can make it drive a little better, but we might have the issue because of the cam. It likes to lope because it's lopey in a manual transmission car. You get a little of that. So girlfriend of the client doesn't like it. We'll see how much we can smooth it out, make it run a little better. But hey, we got a V8. Let's see how it sounds. Just so you know, guys, we just got pulled on the dyno, so it's already warm. We're not going to just rev a client's car this ice cold. Isn't that good for it? It's obviously a V8. It's obviously LS powered. It's pretty rowdy. It sounds pretty decent. It definitely has a good chop to it from that cam. So we'll see what we can do. Let's put it on the dyno and let's see what kind of numbers it makes with its current tune. All right, guys. So we got the Camaro strapped to the dyno. It's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go over a couple of the mods on this car. It does have a Texas Speed Stage 2 cam kit on it. And a Canon cold air intake. Stock headers, but it is catless. So I don't know, Cody, what do you think it's gonna make? We rode in it, I'm thinking like upper 300s, maybe lower 400s on horsepower. So I think it's gonna make 425, 450. So 425 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. Pretty specific, let's hope. It's pretty specific, but uh, I mean, yeah, we'll hope. Um, I don't know. I think I've seen a couple of these get up to on some dynos showing almost 500 uh, ruble horsepower, depending on the tune and the mods, but um, at least that's naturally aspirated. But they can do some serious work. So, you know, it's a V8 we get to play with today. So we're gonna go ahead and make the first run on it. Cross your fingers, so let's see how it goes. This is not our tune, this is whatever tune is on it. So not bad whatsoever guys. Um, this is on SAE, the car made 455 horsepower and 449 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's, it's a pretty good looking curve, honestly, pretty flat torque. We break 400 foot-pounds of torque at about 3,500 RPM and it doesn't dip down below 400 foot-pounds of torque until after 6,000 RPM. Um, we only carried it out to about 6,500 because that's just, that was where the, uh, um, the limiter was set at, but I mean, from the graph, it looks pretty healthy. It comes on fairly strong. It starts making power. I mean, depends what you consider power, but it starts making over 300 at about 3750, 3800. And it just keeps making it 
That's over 400 after like 47.50. Not bad. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop open the tune in it. We'll see what we can do. Um, we'll give it a few tweaks, but mostly we're gonna work on drivability. We're not gonna necessarily try and make a whole lot more power up top because mostly he's concerned with his daily driving. It is a daily driver, not a race car. So we'll do what we can to it. We'll see how it goes, but I'm pretty happy with that. 455, 449 right off the bat. I was pretty close. Yeah. I was pretty close. You were way off. Yeah, I was way off. It felt so, slower. So my butt dyno is fairly well calibrated. Cody needs to work on his butt dyno. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do our final pull. My tuning's pretty much done, so let's get our final power numbers. The car is hot. I've probably made 12 passes on the car this morning so far. We're gonna get this last one done. It's gonna be our power run. This is gonna be what the car is gonna daily drive with, and it should be good, so let's see how it goes. guys so we got the Camaro tuned now it already came with to us with a tune on it and it was running fairly good now mostly what we did was we cleaned up the tune it had a lot of flat features I'll say if you know anything about tuning sometimes when you just want to make more power um, on the dyno a lot of times you'll just basically change an entire section of a tune and make it a flat like in the timing table you just set it to a flat let's say 30 degrees okay um, that's not exactly always safe you will get knock or you could start getting you know some detonation at that type of a of a timing setting depending you know on the rest of the car and your fuel um, and if that's you leave that flat and you're just a, um, basically depending on the car to use its knock sensors to turn it down that's not exactly safe or always the best way to make power um, for a car like this where it's just daily driver, it's not what we recommend. So we actually dialed in a true timing table for the car um, so it doesn't knock anymore, which is much better and much safer. So we did end up getting a little bit more torque out of the car in, uh, in third and fourth gear. And we were able to make the same, if not a couple more horsepower with a hot car. So when we first ran that car, we made, you guys see right there, 455 horsepower and 449 foot pounds of torque. Now, now that's not bad at all, but let me pull up the last run we just did and I'll show you guys that one. So this guys is the pull that we just showed you. This is the final run. I'm pretty happy with it. We ended up making 475.5 rear wheel horsepower and 501 foot pounds of torque. Now it's a stage two camshaft and stage two valve trains. It's pretty good, I'm happy with it, and the drivability is a lot better, but check out the graph. There you go, 475, 501, and it's a nice, clean, good looking graph. All right guys, so we got Anthony here with us. Oh, is this on? Are we working? Yeah, all right, it's working. All right guys, so we got Anthony here. He's got his 2014 Camaro SS. It's got a stage two cam from Texas Speed. He wasn't quite happy when he picked up the car the first time once he got the cam installed, so he brought it to us. Uh, we put our Mafia sauce on it, so it's a Mafia tune now, and what do you think, man? It's running great, man. Better than ever. Uh, I couldn't be happier with it. It felt pretty much stock when I brought it to you, and it's doing a kick-ass job now. Fastest car I've ever driven, so I'm happy. 
We're glad he's happy. We know there's a couple things we're gonna tell him to make it even faster. Long tube headers, oh, yeah. maybe some gears, but it was pretty quick as it is. Now we just need to help him get to the track so we can see what it runs. Maybe put him up, with, put him up against one of our V6 Mustangs. See how he does, I don't know. It's pretty quick though. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out his uh, driving of it. He was pretty excited. But we took it back out and we were like, okay, all right, it's better. Yeah, it's faster now. <laughs> types of stuff so we might get some more Camaros we might get some more Dodges stuff like that tuning some chargers and some challengers here coming up but be prepared we're gonna get our converter back for project hurricane and we're gonna go run some nine soon but make sure you guys are stay tuned to see that we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe and comment below any questions you guys might have we'll see you next time we're out <laughs>